Welcome to Homeschool Helps with Amanda. I'm Amanda Wares, Homeschool Helps Director with NCHE. So this time we are going to talk about my best tips for homeschooling elementary age kids. So elementary age is probably my favorite. Um, although I kind of like all the ages, there's different pros and cons to every age, but elementary, it is so much fun to homeschool that age. Um, one, because they're still young enough to, um, be really open and not possibly have discovered that certain things are not cool or, you know what I mean? So my first best tip for elementary homeschooling is hands on, as hands on as possible. Um, if there is a way that you can make something, make a lesson hands on, do it. And it makes everything more fun. It makes it easier to actually learn. It cements that information in their brain. Um, I continue the exact same recommendations that I had for preschool age, I think are also important for elementary age. Read, 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 read aloud to them. I recommend reading aloud to every age, but oh, it's so important in preschool and elementary school. Um, so read aloud as much as you possibly can. Um, do not succumb to the pressure of making school, formal school, of starting it too early, of making the lessons too long, of um, depending too heavily on either book work or online resources. I personally don't think, especially for elementary age, I don't think there's a lot to be gained from using all online resources. I really don't. I think the negative effects of spending one's entire school experience online far outweigh the ease and um, independence of it. You know, the, the pros, the reasons why people go with that. Um, I could spend a long time talking about that. Maybe we'll do another segment about that. But so I recommend hands-on, hands-on, hands-on read, 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 um, and don't succumb to that pressure of making school too long. Don't feel like you need to recreate, um, brick and mortar school. Don't feel like you need to recreate a classroom experience for your elementary school kids or for any age for that matter. But we're talking about elementary today. Um, field trips, field trips, are so important and valuable and they can learn so much from a field trip. Do not um, minimize the value of a good field trip. And you would be surprised all the places that will do a tour for you or um, come and join one of NCHE's field trips. We do a lot of field trips every year that are wonderful and not super expensive. Um, there's places you can go to do field trips for free that are wonderful. Um, so I recommend look into that. If you can um, tie in a field trip to what you're learning, that is icing on the cake, bonus, amazing. Um, and then the last thing I would say about this elementary age is just enjoy it, savor it. Don't take on too much in your own self. Don't pressure your own self as the teacher. Again, your children are learning all the time. You would have to work hard to stop them from learning, especially at this younger age. Um, so provide them opportunities 
set the buffet of learning opportunities and let them go. You know, I did with all four of mine in the elementary years, we did have some structured school lessons, certainly. Um, most of those were very literature based. We did a lot of reading. We did a lot of hands-on science experiments, projects related to history. We did a lot of field trips. Um, but I think they maybe learned as much or more from just experiencing life, from, um, you know, living in our family, going on errands, doing things outside of that formal structured school time. So um, maybe get out of your own way a little bit, take the pressure off of yourself and exhale, breathe, relax they will be fine. They will learn. And if you, like I was, when we first started homeschooling, we pulled someone out. We pulled our oldest daughter out of school to start homeschooling in fourth grade. So she had been to school for four years before that. And there is a definite um, need to get that brick and mortar school mindset out of your head and out of their head. And with each child, I found myself getting further and further away from that and feeling like, oh, I know it's going to be okay. They're going to learn. Um, and yes, we did structured school, even with the fourth one, even with the baby. But um, I felt more relaxed. I felt more at peace knowing, yes, they're going to learn. It's going to be fine. So I really hope this helps today. Tune in next time for my best tips on homeschooling middle school.